These riots are David Sarah's fault. People see conspiracies everywhere. They're saying that Lim's personal catalogs mean some people get preferential treatment. Police. 2027 and we're still arguing about the damn environment. When I was a kid, it was the big news. Global warming. A lot of people. Have you found anything? Please. I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam. That's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra, this is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Perhaps they feared what might happen once the hostage situation at Sarah's Industries resolved. Thank you, Adam. Several violent skirmishes did break out, but no serious... My ride was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. I'm gonna kill Gerald when I get home. No offense. But uh, if it were up to me, this place would have a no-og policy. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Offer my deepest sympathy Before you ask, no, your mirror has not been replaced, Mr. Jensen. 
Today, I've had to deal with petty vandalism, unreasonable demands from corporate clients, and a variety of other pressing problems. So facilitating your grooming had to be given a lower priority. I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire to stand in front of the General Assembly with David Seraph, united in their cause to find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder if millionaire Hugh Darrow, the man whose innovations first propelled augmentation technology to the forefront, will also be present. So far, Mr. Darrow has refused our repeated requests for an interview. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Ficus. Back again to Detroit, where a handful of people were taken into custody this evening following yet another anti-augmentation demonstration. This time, patients attempting to access the Second Avenue Limb Clinic found their route blocked by supporters of the Humanity Front movement. The pro-human organization had received permission to gather in protest earlier in the week, but police decided to shut down the legal rally prematurely and closed the Broadview Tunnel. Perhaps they feared what might happen once the hostage situation at Seraph Industries resolved. Regardless, several violent skirmishes did break out, but no serious injuries were reported. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live. Mr. Jensen, I fixed up your apartment real nice. That special request you asked for works like a charm. There's lots of room behind the big screen. I put the stuff in there that you asked me to. And thanks for that little something extra you left. The wife will be happy. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Access granted.
Pritchard. The hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My god, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Nice work, Adam. Frank tells me you also shut down a transmission that was coming from Derelict Row? Yeah, I did. What was that? It was keeping an open back door into our network. So somebody could get in and obtain our passcodes anytime they want. I guess Francis owes me one. Don't make him sweat it. I want you to focus on finding the bastards who attacked us. Farida, are you there? On the line, boss. Jensen, you reading me? Loud and clear. Meet me near that antenna you shut down in Derelict Row. I'm doing a flyover to make sure everything's okay and I can pick you up there. On my way. Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Richard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. What'll it be? Always a pleasure.
to save the hostages. Listen, I ain't no killer. It was never supposed to go that far. I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad you was able to stop that. No matter what Zeke thinks. But I'll tell you something else, man. What your company's doing is even worse, man. It's, it's holding everyone on the planet hostage. Back away, Hansa. Maybe I didn't see you at the plant, but I can see you now. You're a really sneaky fuck, ain't you? Well, if Zeke weren't here to stop me, I'd rip off your legs. I'd like to see how sneaky you'd be then. I see you got my message, cabrón. Sanders. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you, considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah? So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on the gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Chink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. Get lost, perro. You got shit to do. I paid my debt. We're even now. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen.
Re-establishing security system. See you soon, Mr. Jensen. Okay, that's it. This is... Done. Damn, Captain, you back again? I don't suppose she brought me a little gift this time. Help a gal down on the luck find some relief. I think I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. Maybe next time. I'll be right here waiting for you, Captain.
Out of this, Hansa. Get lost. Run, you bastard! <laughs> 